What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we are looking at how to find the highest common factor. Let's waste no time, let's begin. Okay, so where are we gonna begin? Well, we're gonna look at what the phrase actually says, first of all, and we're gonna think about these three words. Let's start with factor. So what is a factor? Well, a factor are any two numbers that when multiplied together, equal the product of the number that we're talking about. So in this case, we have question one, we're looking at question number six and number 15. So if any number multiplied together equals six, they would be the two factors. And again, for 15. So that's what factor is. Common just means the same. So we're looking for factors that are both in six and in 15. And the highest obviously means the highest, the biggest number, the greater value. Okay, so let's put that into practice a little bit and let's have a look at question one and let's have a look at these two numbers. So we're trying to find the highest common factor of six and 15. So first of all, let's look at the factors then. So if I have the number six, how can we find our factors? If you haven't checked out the multiples and factors video on this channel, then this is your time to do that because we're gonna go quite quickly through what factors are here and how to find them, but there's much more description in that other video. So we know that the factors are two numbers multiplied together equals six. So we can always start with one and six. We know that one times six is always gonna equal six. So therefore, one and six are both factors of six, okay? Let's see if there's any more. Go logically in sequence, two, and I know that two times three will also equal six. Now let's see if I can go any further. Well, if I put three, we know because I've got three here and I've already used a three, that is as far as I should and could go. So my factors of six are one, two, three, and six. So now we need to look at 15. So if I put 15 over here, what are my factors of 15? Well, I know I have one. One times 15 will equal 15. Have I got a two? No, because 15 is not divisible by two. I can't divide 15 by two. So I have no two. What about three? Three times five equals 15. What about four? Is 15 divisible by four? Four, eight, 12, 16, so no. And then if we try and use five, I've already used a five, so I don't need to do that. So let's have a look. Our factors of 15 are one, three, five and 15. Okay, so now that I found my factors, now I need to look at my next word, the common factors, and let's see which of those are the same. Well, in both of these I have a one, in both of these I have a three, and that's it. Okay, so I found my common factors, and lastly I'm looking for my highest common factor, so my highest common factor in this case is three. So, the highest common factor equals three. Awesome, let's have a look at another question. Let's have a look at eight and 16. So first of all, let's look for my factors of eight. I have one and eight, two and four, three and three, six, nine. Nope, no three. And if I try and do another four, I'm just repeating myself, so I don't need to do that either. So here are my factors of eight. One, two, four, and eight. Awesome, now let's look at my factors of 16. I have one and 16, two and eight, three, is 16 divisible by three? Three, six, nine, 12, 15, no, it doesn't look like it. So four, and then what do we multiply four by? Another four. So therefore, I know that I've come to the end because I've already now used that other four. So my factors of 16 are one, two, four, eight, and 16. Now let's look for those common factors. I have a one in both, I have a two in both, I have a four in both, I also have an eight in both. So they're now looking for my highest common factor. I can see that eight is my highest common factor. Awesome. Okay, hopefully you're getting the gist of this. Let's finish off with question three, which is five and 10. So let's start with five. Factors of five would be one and five. And then, ooh, do I have any more? Hmm, two, two times nothing. Two, no, two doesn't work. 
three, no, three doesn't work, four, hmm, no, four doesn't work, so we're back to five. Well, we've already used our five and our one, so we can't do that, so therefore I only have these two factors. That makes five a prime number, which we're going to talk about more in our next video. Okay, so we only have these two. Let's see what we have for 10. I have a 1 and a 10. I have a 2 and a 5. And then I think that might be it. 3, no, 4, no, and then we're back to 5. So my factors of 5 were 1 and 5. My factors of 10 were 1, 2, 5, and 10. Let's look for those common factors, and hopefully we can see we have a 1 that's common, and we also have the 5 that's common. Let's find the highest common factor, which we can now see is the 5. So the highest common factor equals 5. Awesome! Okay, well, hopefully this was useful for you. So what we're looking for, the highest common factor, first look for those factors, then let's find the common factors between the two, and then just look for that highest value, the biggest number. Okay, so here are three questions for you. Have a look at trying to find the highest common factor for these. Put your answer in the comments section, and I'm gonna try and mark every single one. Okay, there we go. Hopefully this video was useful for you. If it was, think about subscribing to the channel and check out our website, www.themathguide.com, and I'll see you in another video. Peace out.